Invasion Tournament, we have Misclick on the Eels versus Dr. Prodigy from the Alligators, Manta Maria. This is going to be a matchup. What have we got here? Yeah, and semifinals are the best of five. So, yeah, first team to three, and then uh, we'll stop. This ain't no play all. Yeah, we're not playing all anymore. Sham dambles. This is this is getting into it. We got orange and we have purple. Uh, orange coming out for the GA or uh, oh, Gator. The Gator. I see. Gators. The, the, the Gators. Uh, you see, uh, uh, Solaris and Yosh both taking up the ball point. Um, We've seen the L3 expected. pick come out from the Alligators, so it's going to be really good for... Oh, and Goizod starts off with a backline pick, taking out Sai, uh, but instantly taken out by MGJ, who's using that armor... Uh, 96. 96, the vanilla 96. And Eels are three down, so... Or might yes, be a push here. Yeah, and we've got a ball dropping down from Alligators, uh, and we have the Eels... Uh, sorry, from the Eels and the Alligators... Uh, about about to start this push, but for some reason they they couldn't get themselves organised. Yeah, I think so. Uh, uh, Yoshiko, sorry, wrong team. Um, I think Yosh was uh, top left and applying pressure with the ball point, mm -hmm. so they couldn't push straight up the street and sloop on the CDS. Ooh, the second roll going into the mask, probably not his ideal flip. Geo makes a jump to nobody. Unfortunately, <laughs> jumps a little there bit too go. early. That's how responsive he is to the jump. Uh, and he manages to get it in. That's a 60 point push to start off with. MGJ, he's got nine clams. He's going to come in for a sneaky throw. Nobody is there to pick him up. So he's coming oh, back now. This is dangerous. He manages oh, he to get, throw the all them in. A whole nine stack. Yeah, so 27 points there. So now we're going to watch uh, a bit of a a, uh, a re pick of, you know, in mid trying to get all the clams together and see if they can start this counter push. But yeah. Sluke's been taken out with a trade uh, with. Uh, Dr. Prodigy. Gators picking up right where they left off in group stages, looking yeah. very strong to start this match. Ooh, that's it. Goizo takes out uh, MGJ. MGJ's now got to figure out um, how he's going to get back into it with 3v4. I'm trying to wonder what they're doing building these balls. Uh, there's 16 clams, there's no balls up yet, so I, I see why they're doing that. They don't want to be picked up as. Uh, as a, a big shining beacon, um, they've got they've got map control and clamp. They have there 31, 31 and one ball that has just started. Goizo is staying at nine as well, and making sure that ball doesn't pop. And Sluke's on nine as well. And this is the most optimal push you could ever think of for a clam bits. Or they just got to make that entry <laughs> until they drop That's their ball. That's really unfortunate. Miss Click was obviously waiting back there for the jump in, which didn't happen. Which 20 clams have just fallen to the floor. It's a problem. With Clan Blitz, is that you, you make yourself a big target if you grab that ball. Mm. So the um, the alligators able to just shut that down. Miss Click needs to pick up that ball. She manages to recover it, throw it back, so she's no longer a beacon. Uh, but she sees no threat. May as well keep carrying that, hey? One being taken out from Bunker and Goizor Crazy. doing bog laps around. Oh. Ooh, as, soon as, they, as soon as they take a step on the other side of the map, it just. Shots coming from everywhere. <laughs> Two alligators just pop out of the water. Their eyes are already <laughs> above the ink. Little beady eyes. Bombs coming in down. Misclick coming in for a defensive booyah. See where that goes. Oh, yeah. she's throwing right back while she's running forward and throws ha the ball at them. Having a few issues with the sprinkler as well. <laughs> <laughs> throws the whole kitchen sink at him. Manages to grab that ball. And he was doing a really good job of just slowing that momentum down. Yeah, the, the momentum has been dropped. Uh, it looks like the alligator's kind of just taken up a defensive position and see how long that can last for because they got to put some points on the board. Yeah. I guess they're thinking 33 is so a good enough push that they can just hold off and defend. And they might be right, but Geo. Geo's taken out. There's a second jump coming in through from Misclick or from Goy, who's managed to slide around but not slide around enough. Still got the trade though. So he was in a bit of trouble here. Running out of time. He's already uh, 20 clams, 20 to 16, 18 to 16 clams on the board. Uh, it's really, they don't need to push again. They're just going no, for, for knockout. If they can hold mid, that happy days for, for the Gators. <laughs> oh, the Gators. <laughs> oh, great. <clears throat> So 
So Solaris just acting as that uh, that back point for the backline point for everyone to jump back to. She has no no issue being anywhere. Takes out Yoshiko trying to get into a better spot. Oh, takes out Gorizol with a beautiful double. The ball has been picked up. Yep, Looking man. for a triple. Doesn't matter. Got misses. taken out. And that looks like a clam blitz game going to the Gators. Finishing off with some extra clams. A dominating, a dominating performance. It was. Uh, he also didn't even sniff the clam basket. What's a clam basket? They don't know. They don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we're going to see some um, high scoring games. Maybe the kills reflected the amount of... Uh, oh, look, it wasn't too bad. Uh, yeah, but Silaris doing work on that ball point. Yeah, the, a great back line. Uh, she didn't choose to play it. Was, this, was she playing that in the, in the previous game we watched? Oh, we hadn't, that's the first one we watched. It was no, Josh that it was Yosh, picked up in the other one. L3. Yep. So now looking at our second match, which is a Rainmaker on Wahoo. Uh, Wahoo is this uh, constantly changing map based on um, the, the middle, the carousel in the middle. <clears throat> it kind of goes around in circle. Uh, the platforms change, the walls change. Uh, sometimes you can get stuck in there. Uh, it's a it, it's you really need to have control or even a few kills before you try and push through that Yeah, and on Rainmaker you often see people once they once they pick it up they're, they're pushing left and trying to go up around that that corner um, You can go through the middle where there's a little bit of uninkable. boards probably a bit more challenging You don't That's get it. the protection from the, the walls, but yeah and I'll then once like once you're there, you've got you know you've got two areas to kind of that big big long side ramp, all the middle uninkable. Yeah. Um, it really comes down to that special push around that big long corner. Once again, the specials that go around the corner really help. Uh, your back lines have to become aggressive to kind of push through. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we just saw ankleless comps come out from from these two teams. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see if they do like. Or, or even stuff like ball points, points mm. a little bit more mobility. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, Rainmaker is a, a tough one. It's a moving, moving target. Isn't moving it? So, objective. Yeah. Mm. So thank you very much for Hitzel for that um, that host. Um, uh, g'day to everyone <laughs> who came from Hitzel's stream here. Uh, we hope you've been enjoying the tournament so far. But well, we got some good games. We're not finished yet, man. So it's a zero one to the Alligators right now. We are looking at um, game two of the semifinals, uh, and it's going to be blue versus green, with the eels being green. Perfect. Uh, so what have we seen? Both sides again. Four points. This time, Sluke picking it up for eels. Still waiting for that um, triple ball point comp. Now that's that, that blob blob and the umbrella are the only two. Uh, Oh, Move nice from the meta, Sloot nice. Sloot picks up that double pick. Oh, <laughs> this one the comes bag. out right at the end <laughs> with the double. Sluke, you did an amazing job here, but really the MVP was the, <laughs> the squid bag at the end from Sai. We're all about encouraging the, the squid bagging here. That's it. <laughs> and if it, it's not a squid bag, unless it's more than two pumps. Yes, that's the rule. Otherwise, you're just dash dancing at that point. <laughs> So that's three down from the Eels. Alligators looking like they're, they're starting the second match. Yeah, it's time to push for them. Oh, Miss Click can't get off that un uninkable on the left hand side like you were talking about. It's very yeah. hard to, to get past. So, look at the four of them working together here on <laughs> this left hand side. I know, it's NA and, and AUNZ just oh, merging together. Yes, double prods. Oh, oh yes. He squid back his way. There's going to be goal. squid. <laughs> What a great finish. Trying to work uh, his way through that ink. Huge push down the side. <laughs> That's it. Oh, here it goes. Yes. Yes. Unfortunately, both sets were only two pumps. Does that mean that there was four pumps in total or were there uh, two sets of two pumps? I don't know what the uh, what the time limit on consecutive pumps is. Because yep. I do like a slow squid bag as well, like a slow sensual. Oh, one. like a real like, mmm, that's a squid bag yeah. kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really yeah. make him feel it. Yeah. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah, okay. All right. And chat, was that a, uh, was that a actual... It's an acceptable Was an acceptable squid bag. squid bag. We need to know. We need official ruling on that and it's up to you guys to decide. Yes, Seb Pro, I uh, referred to it as Dash Dancing. That is my... Smash Bros uh, vernacular coming out there. Um, what is it called in Splatoon? Uh, where you where you hold down your sub button. Dash, it, oh, um, and 
Substrofe. Yeah. It's substrafe. called substrafing inside uh, Splatoon. How could you forget that? I know, right? The substrafing unnecessary king. <laughs> Emphasis on unnecessary. Yep. So the eels, yeah, as we move on, the eels here need to regroup. Um, they're down 2-0. Uh, it's game point for alligators. Mm -hmm. And no one likes to get taken down 3-0 in no. the best of five, so. No, and there, look, there are some strong players on eels and I don't doubt that it's not a mechanical thing. Maybe they're just not gelling as much as uh, Dr. Prodigy and, and his band of merry Aussies. Um, but they just seem to be putting on a better show at the moment. Yeah, they doing really well, like, Again, the balance of comp really helps them. Like, size is a very good um, back line. Geo is a monster. <laughs> and <laughs> Ness can fill any other role. Yeah. So, um, Prod's got a lot of um, a lot of options there. Yeah. And it's working, it's working out well for them. That's it. We're noticing eels are taking a little bit longer to, to ready up. Um, maybe a little bit less confident about their comp and just trying to rework a few things because this combination here, Splat Zones on Black Belly Skate Park, is an interesting map and mode. It is. Uh, we struggle with it um, yeah. as commentators trying to, to play on this map because there is two zones, one on your side and one on their side. And you've got to work together to make sure that both are capped at the same time. And Yosh playing Carbon? Carbon Deco? I'm not seeing Yosh on a roller before, so... All oh, right. Okay. Pretty excited about this. Yosh is on, a, and it's a carbon roller as well. Maybe, maybe she knows something that we don't. That would make sense considering she is a top tier player. Yeah, we don't know. We are lowly commentators. Uh, oh, taking out Geo there, and it looks like see they've managed to take the the momentum of the game, but they weren't able to get any points until they pushed up now, yeah. and swapped for that. So you can see Sluke is now on top tower. That is prime position for a ball point or any back line to be sitting on. And it's going to be a real struggle for the Gators to kind of come back. Yeah. They're trying, they've taken out their they zone, but see... Zone. Yeah, it flips quickly, doesn't it? It does. And as they were trying to push their zone, they hadn't secured their own zone. They're trying to help out Solaris, who's gotten taken out. But look at the work between MGJ and Dr. Prodigy. They're holding hands, skipping. <laughs> it's great to see. It's a... That could be the poster shot for the, the OCENA connection. <laughs> oh, Prodigy taking that 1v1 fight. Oh, Goizod gets the 2v1. Uh, yeah, the Gators have control back, but see how long that lasts. Yeah, Miss Click and Sloot coming back down. Booyah's coming out. She looks like she's going to throw that into theirs while taking it on her own. Just doing it herself. Unfortunately. Putting the pressure on this splatter shot as he does. Prodigy doing a great job from up on the tower, but gets pushed off by the Saluk backline. Uh, it's very much up to the backline, or even like a, some bombs to push people from that tower. So Laris just making sure the rain doesn't get her, her zone. Uh, and they've taken the lead. Yeah, and they're in pretty good position here to, to try and shut these guys out. Oh, Ooh. ball point of Sluke coming from the left. And that's a great position for Sluke to be in, to take away from tower. Wasn't expecting it from that side at all. Yoshiko, yes, we've Gio. seen some carbon kills. That's all we wanted to watch in this here match. Come, here comes the chook rush. Oh, bok bok. <laughs> oh, that's two down. Yosh done an amazing job with the carbon. Uh, it's it's an out of meta pick. No one, this isn't a, a yeah, usual well, occurrence. It's like a fly swat, how quickly you can uh, yeah. bring it down on top I'm, of I'm your I'm surprised opponent. in the stream if they can actually see like the, the movement of that. It's, it's a quick yeah. flicking gun. So it was back in control, working through, trying to take back the lead. It's been pretty back and forth so far. Goizod, if he stays alive here, oh, oh, gets the gets can cancel. It was a beautiful cancel. They've just managed to take the lead as well. Look at them push right up to the spawn. And they're trying to block him out. And maybe this is why Yosh uh, took the, the carbon. Yeah, uh, the, all the different um, This is a great position for her to, to take out uh, underneath that drop. Yeah. For sure. And they're down to 10 and the Gators have zero chance to get back to these zones. No, so. no, that's... Oh, but not we without... We Cyrus a, screwed back a few more people. A quick bag and shot. What we like to see. Thank you so much, Cy, for the uh, double pump and shot. Unfortunately, that is a loss for your team, however. Um, while you get mad respect points for a... Um, for a 
a squid bag, yeah. it doesn't affect the overall rating. No, no points no. for that. Well, only in our <coughs> only in our hearts. Yeah, That's a, almost choke <laughs> in our hearts. <laughs> <laughs> As we take a quick drink break, yeah. <laughs> just lubricate those throats. Mm. Okay, we're moving on to tower control anchovy. Anchovy is one of the newer maps uh, to come out in Splatoon, um, but I think we've all grown accustomed to it, and I think everyone here who's played uh, Splatoon has definitely had their fair run of this map. Um, this is this map is really good for the back lines. Uh, in all of the choke points or the checkpoints, uh, there's no real choke points per se. It's quite an open map, but the yeah. checkpoints there, there's always a good spot for the back line to look at it. Yeah, and uh, the f first checkpoint where it's sitting just below uh, like arcade the, on near the plat, um, you can roll your bombs straight off the edge on, onto the tower. So mm. um, that might see that come out. But again, probably special coordination is going to come into this big time as they try and push through those checkpoints. The teams are readying up. There's Probably one more to go, I think, and mm -hmm. then we'll get going. But Eels trying to wrestle back some of this momentum. Um, it was a really good shot out there on Splat Zone, so let's see if they can bring it in this fourth game. Sounds good. All right, we're getting into our fourth match. Can we see a Game 5 hype come out on these two teams uh, who are blue and yellow at the moment and will be... Uh, the Gators are yellow and the Eels are blue. Now what we'll see is we'll see Sluke probably try and uh, take that arcade area and just kind of stay up there while the, the rest of these guys fight down. No, Luke is... Sluke is down there and says, nah, stuff that. I'm getting frontline. Now, MGJ taking out Misclick from that fan area, but instantly taken out by Goizord. He's done a really good job on that Brella so far. Oh, that's two down for the Alligators. And the yeah. special's coming out, but no one is on the towel. We really need to be seeing this being pushed back with every opportunity that they're, that they're creating. And you saw the Alligators try and push push the um, Eels fan and cause that distraction and let the, let the tower move forward. Yeah, it's really yeah. good. Really good strategy here. Yeah. And we're only looking at a 90-98. I don't know who's electing to, to hop onto the, the tower. Thanks, Yoshiko. <laughs> yeah, appreciate it. <laughs> Yoshiko, here's the uh, answers the call um, when she's needed. Unfortunately, gets taken out by Prodigy. This is the lead, but I'm going to suggest that that might not be enough to win the game. <laughs> Prodigy getting 2v1. Oh, Australians are doing really good at these 2v1s. Uh, it's really, really proud to watch them uh, team fight. It's really good. Yeah, at the first checkpoint. And they're all booyahing. Looking pretty safe as well, so... Boys Sword will definitely get us up onto the arcade, which brings us to the next point here where the back line needs to get up in this top left-hand corner from Goizord uh, and provide a different angle of attack to take out that Brella. The Gators are two down again and... But Goy's done this all before. Look at him dance around the... Uh... They're really streaming through these checkpoints. They are. Look at this. This is going to... Uh, they finally they take out the Brella of Goizor. Managed to stop Reigns coming out too. Oh, nice jump and kill from yeah, there go. MGJ, and it's been a good stop from the Alligators. But a 28 pusher on this map, that's a good push. Yeah, it's, they did a really good job. They moved that tower very quickly as well. Not much resistance from the Alligators there. No. We'll see how this mid-skirmish kind of comes out again. This is always an interesting fight to watch because it comes down to, you know, um, coordination, everyone's trying to get everything together. But while that's happening, it's just mechanical fights. There you go, bomb taking out Sluk. I think the um, the pick of the Brella was really helpful riding that tower as well. Yeah. Goy was doing a good job of flaring that thing out and protecting himself. That's it. And then providing that um, the backup with the special going forward as well. And it just kind of stopped people from advancing on him with all those flat bombs around. Yeah, but the Gators now are having their own turn. Yes. Um, Sai is sitting there ready. Taking <laughs> control of that plat. And Sloot takes out Prodigy, but unfortunately they didn't have enough movement for the Tenters. Jir's coming in, Jir slams the double. Yeah. And we're looking at the next checkpoint now. MGJ has been pushed off and the, stop, the push has been stopped there, but there's still Can three of them get, going. It's really important that they get through this checkpoint. Goy's turned his back. Chance. There they go. And he manages to take out another one. We're looking at 33 to 28. There are two more, but it seems like the push has been stopped there. Yeah, just, 
just the one up on the uh, alligators being so So we saw there they kind of got picked off one by one as things were kind of being slowly pushed off uh, and eventually that, that push was kind of broken and they allowed him to, to get back. Now Miss Click Ooh, doesn't Ooh, quite get the jump out. Was so. yellow squid before she jumped out there. Yeah. Oh Solaris picks up two. Great shot from Three side. down on the eels. And we're looking like that push is coming again from the gators. And this is why it's really important that they got through that checkpoint. There's no stop there's no checkpoint between them and the lead now and nothing. They look like they're gonna take it. And they do. Can they go through and knock They've them out? They've taken it. We've got 20 points here. We still got a minute and 10 left. There's still enough for a counter push this if could, it ever comes through. But this could be the end of the game. This could be the end of the first semi final. This could be the end of the first semi finals. No, he's taken out. The, but the Booyah provides now him enough cover. No, there's two, another one. one. MGJ won. Gators and have done it. MGJ finishes that. If we look at this breakdown, it was a beautiful Booyah right at the end. These specials yeah. coming out left, right, center. Booyah's center missiles all doing the job there. And it just caused the game right at the end. Brilliant push by the Gators and a good finish to the first semi finals. Said <sighs> Prodigy picking up 14 KA. And helped out by Silaris again, picking up 13. She's been going very well. And that goes straight to the Alligators as well. Uh, what a match. Oh, I'm going to have to calm down from that one. That was a 